Okay, so let's answer this question. So we're looking at a basic console application. We're in week two, and we're looking at question four, which is from a textbook. Write a Java class that declares a named constant to hold the number of uh, quarts in a gallon. Okay, so it says create a constant. Let's do that. Let's create the class first. It says call the class quarts to gallons. Every class, quarts to gallons. It says create a named constant the number of quarts in a gallon. So let's do that up here. Public final int. So final int means it's a, a constant integer. Public means it's public. We don't, uh, it doesn't matter for constants because nothing outside the class can change them. It can just view them. So we can make it a public if you like or private if you want. Like it doesn't really matter for constants. So quarts per gallon. Okay, and I've used uppercase letters because it's a constant. I've used underscores between words because that's the, that's the Java standard. And that equals four. So number of quarts in a gallon using imperial measures is four. And we'll do, do everything else in the main method for now. Public static void main. String square brackets args. Just enter the usual main method that we're used to creating for every one of our Java programs so far. Public static void main string square brackets args. So we're going to be static, void, main, uppercase, string, square brackets, all that's got to be there. Otherwise your program won't run. Uh, declare a variable to represent the number of quarts needed for a painting job. So I'll declare a variable. We'll assume it's integers. Int num, num quarts. Okay. And set it to zero. Okay. Uh, and assign an appropriate value, for example, 18. Okay, let's make it 18 then. 18. Compute and display the number of gallons required. Uh, need a further job. Display explanatory text with the values. For example, a job that needs 18 quarts requires 4 gallons and 2 quarts. So it's a basic conversion program. We're converting the, the total number of quarts into <coughs> gallons and quarts. Okay, so, so we want to convert num quarts to gallons and quarts, okay, and then we want to display the result to the user. Okay, so that's basically what this comes down to. We're, we're going to do some conversions, and then we're going to display the results to the user. So it's a nice, simple little console program. Okay, so let's declare some more values. Int gallons, and we know that there's four quarts per gallon. Okay, so we can work out the number of gallons from this chap here, because it's the number of quarts divided by four. Okay, which is that chap there, the constant. Okay, so we worked out our gallons. So if it's 18 quarts, then the number of gallons will be four. It's the whole number of that divided by four, which four goes into 18 four times. Okay, so four will be the answer. That's the number of whole gallons that we need. Then we need to work out the remainder, which is the number of quarts we have left over. And that's equal to the number of quarts. And we want to get the remainder. So we want to we want to divide four into 18 and not get four. We want to get the remainder, which is two. Okay, so there's a special, special operator we've used already where we deal with remainders. And whenever you think of remainders, you should think of modulo, modulo arithmetic. And there's an operator in, in Java that's perfect for that, and it's the percent operator. Okay, so percent operator, and we'd go percent quarts per gallon. So gallons should be 18 divided by four, which will be four. And quarts, quarts, I'll just spell that correctly, should be 18 percent four. And 18 percent four is the remainder. So four goes into 18, four times with two remainder. So we should have two quarts, okay? Which is what the question suggested as well. Two quarts, okay? So four gallons and two quarts. Now what we need to do is display this result to the user. So system out dot print line, a paint job that requires number of quarts plus Quartz. Uh, let's just have a look what they said, said to say. Requires four gallons and two quarts. Okay, and I might just bring that on the next line to make sure I'm not uh, 
uh, call it brick wires, and we want to get that gallons there, and then display gallons and plus that many quarts. Okay, so a, a paint job that requires 18 gallons, or 18, 18 quarts, sorry, 18 quarts, requires four gallons, it should be, and that many quarts. Okay, so we're just using our integers that we've got already up here, and concatenating those on the bits of strings to create a, a big string, and that will display the results to the user. Okay, so all good so far. Control one, quarts per gallon. Ah, now, for what we're doing at this stage, uh, we should make all our constants static as well. So pu fi public final static. We haven't talked about static yet. We'll talk about that later in the course, but just make it static for now so that our static method can access it properly. And there's results. So a paint job that requires 18 quarts requires four gallons and two quarts, which is exactly what we wanted. 18 quarts requires four gallons and two quarts. So we've, we've got the required output. Okay. So that answers part one of the question. Then we've got to look at part two. Convert the gallons quartz to an interactive application. Instead of assigning a value to the number of quartz, accept the value from the user as user input. Okay. It says save it as that, but I'm just going to save it as this name so I don't have to worry about changing file names and things. I'll just keep it simple for the video. So instead of assigning a value here, we want to get user input. Okay, so get user input. For gallons or for quartz. For num quartz actually. We'll make it really clear for num quartz. Okay, and the way we get user input is our good old scanner scanner object or scanner class. So scanner, I'll call mine KB for keyboard equals new scanner. And then inside round brackets here we've got to put something very special. We've got to tell Java what input device we're using, and it's system dot in. So the default input device for your, for your computer, which is your keyboard. Okay, you can actually put a whole lot of different things in here. We'll cover some more of those later that you can put in there. But for now, it's just system dot in, and we want to prompt the user to enter the number of quarts. System dot out dot print line. Enter total quarts, and we want to get that from the user, and it will be num quarts equals. We want to use our keyboard, uh, our scanner object, which is KB, KB dot next int. So we're getting, getting the next integer input from the user. So KB is our scanner object. So we're using that to get the next input from the keyboard, and we're getting the next integer input. We're not initializing that to 18 anymore, so we'll just make that zero, and uh, just line up those because I like it nice and neat. Okay, so that should be all we need to do. So we're prompting the user to enter the number of quarts and we're getting the number of quarts in the user as a next integer. And then we're using that to do our, our, our calculations down here, and then we're, when we're displaying the results. So we should be able to enter any number of quarts now. So let's give it a go. Ooh, -hoo, scanner. So, so when you use a scanner, you gotta do an import. Don't forget your imports. And so what's, what's the import for scanner? Anyone remember? So it's java.util. And you can either put an asterisk here Asterisk is fine, and that brings that means bringing in all of the scanner class, or all of the util class, sorry. Or you can name what you want to have, uh, what you want to bring in, and would you bring in just a scanner part of that util class. Both will result in exactly the same code, so you don't have to worry about whether you use asterisk or not. Okay, so scanner works fine there. Control 1, Control 2. Let's type in uh, 32 or 34, and a job that requires 34 quarts requires 8 gallons and 2 quarts. So eight, uh, 4 goes into 34 8 times, 8, 16, 24, 32, so that's 8 gallons, and then we've got 2 remainder, which is the 2 quarts. So our program's producing the right results. Okay, so that's, that's how you answer that question. It's just, you know, try and highlight parts of it and try and fill in parts that you can do, and uh, just read the question and make sure you're doing the right thing, and uh, it's not a really hard question. Once you've answered questions like it, it's not really that hard. Okay. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.